Hey guys, it's I. Welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be a how-to video and I have actually received some comments from you guys telling me that filling in your eyebrows is like one of the hardest things for you to do because maybe you're not used to filling in your brows and I have also received some very very nice comments from you guys telling me that you like how my brows look like. Thank you so much but honestly there's really nothing much that I always do to my brows. So in today's video, I am going to be doing like a tutorial kind of thing on how I normally fill in my brows. Honestly, it doesn't really take up a lot of effort because this is actually how my natural brows look like. And just a brief overview of how my natural brows is like. I am actually very blessed to be born with thick, full brows. And this is actually how my normal brows look like. Ever since I was 17 years old, I have always gone threading for my brows uh, because I prefer to have a neat looking brow. Not too thin and not too thick obviously. And before 17 years old, I actually usually got my mom to help me pluck out uh, the stray hairs that are growing at you know, areas which are not supposed to grow. Honestly, I can't deal with unruly looking brows if you know what I mean. Usually I get my brows threaded every like once every two to three to four five weeks. I don't know it depends on my schedule actually because sometimes I can get really busy. Usually if I don't have time to go threading what I'll do is I'll just pick my tweezer and then I'll just pluck out any stray hairs or any newly grown hair. Okay so if you guys are interested to see how I normally fill in my brows just keep on watching. So before we begin I think it's better if I keep the hair out of the way. Okay there are of course a few things which I need to fill in my brows and first things first I always have this brush uh, this side of the brush and normally some people will actually use a spoolie but I don't have a spoolie and this is actually normally what I use. So to start off, I am actually going to start combing my brows like so. As you guys can see, there's really nothing much to do about it honestly. I can even go out with this kind of brows but usually I prefer it to be done up. Yeah, I think you can actually see and notice that at the inner corners of my brows, they are actually like kind of sparse looking. So that's normally the areas which I need it to be filled up. Firstly, I'm actually going to fill up this side of my brows and then after that, you can actually compare it with the other side when it's not done up. Okay, over here, I actually have my MAC palette and I am obviously not going to be using all of the colours. I have this colour right here. This is actually MAC's Coquette eyeshadow and over here, I have a small angled brush from Sigma E65. This is normally the kind of brush that I prefer to use to fill in my brows. Okay, so to start off, I'm just going to dip in a little bit of that coquette colour on this brush. Okay, and of course, step off any excess. I'm just going to start off with this side. Just give it like a really short strokes. Okay, this is normally how I do it. Just give like a really, really short, tiny strokes. Okay. I think that this eyeshadow, it, it is not too dark and not too light. Um, just a really quick tip for you guys, please do not use black colour, black pencil, black eyeshadows to fill in your brows. Okay, I know that, I mean we are Asians and we have like really dark coloured hair but please, oh my god, I just cannot stand it when I see people with like super, super, super dark brown or in fact black brows. I just cannot take it really because it will just make your whole look really, really harsh. If you have dark coloured hair, your brows are supposed to be around 2 to 3 shades lighter than your hair colour. And if you are blonde, um, your brows are supposed to be 2 to 3 shades darker than your blonde hair colour. Because I do have a friend on Instagram and oh my god, I'm so bad when I say this. <laughs> okay, she's, she has actually just dyed her hair blonde but her brows are like really really dark and it's just so ugly. Oh my god, I'm so sorry but I'm not going to quote any names obviously but... Oh well. Okay, so and especially at this side as well, I'm just gonna fill it in slightly. Honestly, I haven't gotten my brows threaded, so I really hope you guys can bear with it. <laughs> so just fill in any areas which are kind of sparse looking. And usually this will be okay for me. So as you can see, this side is more filled up as compared to this side. So if you think that your brows is like 
to fill in, usually what I'll do is I'll just go back to the brush and I'll just brush it out like that so that, so that the colour can be like evenly distributed. So this is actually the key to my whole eyebrow look and the so-called secret which is no longer a secret now. It is actually Kate's eyebrow colour and I'm actually using it in BR1. I really really like this a lot. This is what makes my brows so uh, different from how it has always been like last time. So this is actually a brow tint uh, and I'm sure that Benefit has something like this but the thing is that I heard that the Benefit one has some fibres inside which I don't think I need because my brows are really kind of full. So if I apply that on, it will make my brows look even fuller which is not what I want. This one is purely for you to add some colour to your brows and it's really really it's a nice brown colour, you guys will actually see. Okay, so what I'll do is once I have already opened up, open it up, uh, what I'll do is I'll scrape a little bit of the excess on the opening itself because if you apply it too much on your brows, it will just look funny. I'm just going to start to colour my brows sort of. Okay, so just give a really, like a really nice quick stroke as well. Really very simple. This is what I normally do every day with my brows. Okay, just brush it out like so. Just want to ensure that every single hair is coated by this thing because if not, some of your hair is black and some of it is brown and it's just very funny. It will just look funny honestly. Okay, again, if you think that's too much, which I don't think it is right now, but I'm just going to show it anyway. What I'll do is I'll just go back to the brush and I'll just comb it out like so and your brows will stay in place the whole day I'm not even kidding because it doesn't only keep like your brows tame it will act the color will actually stay as well so um, there's not really a lot of difference but obviously I can tell that this side of my brows is slightly lighter than this one because this is like super super black and this one is slightly lighter brown color and of course at, the, at this side it is already filled up so I'm actually just going to do uh, the exact same step but maybe I'll just fast forward the steps on this side of my brows and yeah, let's go! Okay, so now my brows are already done for both sides so as you guys can see Okay, so that's it for today's how-to video. I really hope that you guys have found this video helpful. Okay, I don't know whether it's really helpful because this is normally how I fill in my brows and it's just so easy. It doesn't really take not even 5 minutes really. And it's really very very simple. I, I really like how it is right now uh, because I think that it looks pretty done up but not too over the top I think. It looks kind of natural especially in person. I'm not sure whether the camera actually captures it such way because maybe it's a little bit light on camera because of the lighting and all but in person I can swear to you it looks really really natural. So please give this video a thumbs up if you have found this video helpful or if you have enjoyed watching this kind of how-to video so that in future I can actually do it another video I don't know uh, it depends maybe an eyeliner how to I don't know uh, if you guys have any requests just leave it as a comment down below and of course subscribe to my channel if you want to see more videos from me and I'll talk to you guys in my next video next Thursday bye guys